I have an issue. That's right, an issue. An issue that almost destroyed my life. It caused me to be separated. It caused me to be cast aside. It caused me to be neglected. Until I heard about a man. That's right, a man. This wasn't just any man. This was a different man. Let me introduce myself. I am the bleeding woman. Some of you may know me as the woman with the issue of blood. You see, I suffered with this for 12 long, long, miserable years. I could not be with my husband intimately. I could not comfort my children when they needed comfort. I couldn't visit a friend just for a conversation because I was ostracized. I was considered unclean. I couldn't come over to your house and sit with you. I couldn't touch nothing that you had because if I touch you, you became unclean. You see, I traveled from Asia to Africa, from Maine to Missouri. I went from position to position, spent everything that I had only to get worse. But when I heard about this man that was passing through, this man whose name was Jesus, 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 the man who cast out demons, the man who raised the dead, the man who healed, oh, Jesus. All I can think about it is that when you're in the presence of the Most High God, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how people look at you. It doesn't matter how they talk about you. And it definitely didn't matter that day when they told me to stay back. Because all I could think about was if I could just touch the very hem of his garment, I would be made whole. So if you want to know if I was made whole, continue to read Mark 5, 25 through 35.